has any celebrities like creeped in your DMs yet? N not that I know of. Not, you better check. Uh, well, I'm not sure I know how to check. Well, where your daughter's at? I, well, I think I know how, but the problem is you don't know what you don't know. Oh, okay. So I look and I don't think anyone's <laughs> been there, but maybe you could uh, okay. do a test. For... I'll help you figure it out okay. before you leave, because I'm sure you got a ton of messages. I do. Oh, oh okay, yeah. okay. See, see he's trying to be slick on us. What is dating like in your 70s? It's entirely different. It's different? How it's, so? It's entirely different. Um, you know, when, when you're in your 20s and 30s, you're thinking about a career, thinking about how many children you might want to have with a partner. You're asking superficial questions, like what's your favorite color and, and so forth. When you get older, I, I think you cut through some of that and you're, you're looking at what's really important. What's important. And, you know, you're in... You're always looking for the person that's going to make you whole, that you feel comfortable with. You no longer care about color and you no longer care about career and the number of children. You care about how you spend your holidays. Yes. Um, you know, do you go to church? Those kind of things. So well, you know it's a deeper. yes for me for all of those things. I do that. I spend the holidays with my kids. I go to church. I listen to the sermons. So. I'm just saying that I may qualify. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. What are your deal breakers for dating? Well, I think, you know, one of the obvious deal breakers is distance. Um, you know, when I was dating before I got on the show, I had the rule of 60, mi 60 miles and the age of 60. Okay. So they had to be age appropriate uh -huh. and they had to be close. Um, other than that, the one deal breaker I think I have in the show or even before, was someone that wants to accelerate their relationship too quickly. Okay. Um, you know, they might want to skip steps along the way of getting to know each other. And it, it's fine to compress those steps and move them along quickly, but you can't skip them. Mm, like, like, what's one of those red flags for you when skipping? What's something, like a face? Um, so if, if a person I'm dating and we've had a few dates and she wants to start talking about how I might want to change my will. Um, oh, oh, baby, that's that, a big old red flag. It's a pretty big red flag. That's the last date, right? It, it is. That's the last date. Okay. And on the show, you dated like quite a few women. Did you happen to fall in love with more than one at one time or? Such a good question. You know, when you're in the moment with someone and uh, you get caught up in the excitement and the glamour and the energy yes. of what's going on, uh, you feel like you're in love with someone. You might even say the words. And then when you get away from all the energy that was surrounding that moment and you peel it back, you realize that, yeah, that woman was wonderful, but she wasn't the right woman for you. And when you said or thought that you loved her, it probably wasn't genuine. Mm. Okay. It's difficult. It is. Listen, okay, so th this is what I really want to hear from you. What advice do you have for people looking for a partner? I had a very good friend in high school and, and also in grade school. We played Little League together and we played high school basketball together. His wife passed away about six months before my wife did. Mm -hmm. His wife passed in December of 2016. And I heard from him yesterday on a direct message. And he goes, Gary, he goes, all these years I've not dated anyone. And I've watched you on the first two episodes of the show. And he goes, and I'm inspired. And with your emoting hope and a little bit of luck, I'm now dating someone. Aww. And it's like that. You change your lives and perspective. That's what this is for. It's what it's about. Yes. You, you want to give people the confidence to not just hope, but to find heart and to find humor and enjoy their lives and find that person. And, and I was so overwhelmed by that. I happened to be sitting with my youngest daughter and read her the story. We're both in tears. Aww. And it, because that's what we really want to do with this show. Well, you're doing it. You're definitely doing it. Is your family supportive? Oh, 100%. Yeah? My daughters were the ones that sort of nudged me into Beautiful. applying for the show. Oh, really? Yeah. We would watch The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and we'd text back and forth, find someone to make fun of a little bit. <laughs> 
And, and when the ad came up, and this is almost three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, when the ad came up, they go, Dad, you should do that. I wasn't dating anyone, didn't have a good circle of friends at the time, and I was probably in the right spot to, to respond. Nice. Do they help you when, like, within the show, decide, like, Dad, you should go for this, or like, Dad, don't go for that one? No, I didn't get any of that. No? Uh, the advice I got, I s totally screwed up. What advice was that? Uh, <laughs> they, they told me just, Dad, don't kiss anyone the first night. <laughs> Oh, you did a lot of kissing. I did. I didn't mind it at all. I liked it. Didn't li <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Go, get it, Gary. Oh, get it! Four. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you was out there living your best life, huh? Uh, yes, it is. It's pretty good. Having a good, good. You deserve to have a good time. <laughs> How old are your granddaughters? My granddaughters are 21 and 16. Uh, 21 and 16? Yeah. Okay, so they're the Gen Z, like, generation. So do they teach you the Gen Z terms? You know, they've tried. I'm, I I'm just, a little confused, too. I'm not good at it. Okay. They, they, they'll throw out a term, and they'll give me a non-specific definition <laughs> because they're a little embarrassed, I think, at <laughs> times to, you know, be really on point with it. And so I've picked up some, but not a lot. Not a lot? Well, I'm not too far behind. So, but I want to play a game. Can we see how much we know together? Sure. Because I, I, I got my little bowl over here with some Gen Z terms in it. Y'all going to help us figure it out, too? Because your, your grandbabies is 16 and 21. Yeah. OK, I got a 14-year-old, and I don't be knowing nothing. Nothing they be talking about. Like, what? where that come from? So we can help each other. Calling it Gen Z turns with a golden bachelor, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Our first one is Riz. Riz. That, Who is that? That might be one of the few that I actually know. You know this one? Because I don't. I do. My, my youngest granddaughter used that term very early on in my process. OK. And she goes, Dad, or granddad, you got to develop some Riz. And it's short for charisma. You gotta have. Okay, you're good. What's this? You see this? You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Charisma. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's get another one. Hold the line. <laughs> okay. What about drip? <laughs> nope. Nope. Y'all got that one? You don't know that one, Gary? I don't know that one. Drip. Drip. I feel like you know you got the drip like. Like jewelry or swag or that vibe. Right. You know, you got that drip, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's more of expression. You, you know what I mean. So Come on. Style. See, that's why I have to go yeah. to my kid. My son, oh, oh, you got this one. Drip. Hits different. You ever heard that one? Nope, got no clue. You don't know what that is? Uh -uh. Do y'all know what that is? Yeah. yeah. Like, like it hit different. You know, I don't know how to describe it, but like, Super dope, super like, okay, I like that. Or like, you know, it may hit you one way, but man, that hit different this way. You, you get it? You apply it to how uh, you want to say it. How different people feel. Yeah, like, yo fine, yo fine, Gary, hit way different than them 21-year-olds. Okay. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to The Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.